y'all, it's Jessica from Sloppy Swatches. Today I have a look at some of the mini bottles from the You Do Hue Sesame Street China Glaze Collection. I found these sets at Walmart. They are the mini bottles, so I think they're going to be perfect for the holidays, stocking stuffers, and whatnot. When I get done swatching these, my daughter is taking them. So it's a great way to get a lot of variety and color in for a very affordable price. So I did purchase these. They should be available at your local Walmart. I'll try to link them down below if I can find them and I'll get right into the review. So the first four piece collection I'm gonna share with you today is a monster piece and I bought it specifically for the namesake. So that is the first polish I'm gonna share with you. This is a monster piece. So she is a pretty mid pink vivid holographic china glaze polish. I needed this in my life. I have been drooling over swatches. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it's swatched today for me on my natural nail. So keep in mind, this is the mini bottle. So it does come with a smaller brush, but it works just as well. There's a look at that first easy coat. Went on nice and easy, really smooth, no grit, with this one at all. It is a little bit sheer, so I'm going to go ahead and come back in for a quick second coat. This one does dry down a little bit dull, so I do recommend having your favorite glossy top coat on hand. This second coat is going to build up that finish and add more of that gorgeous linear holographic to the finished effect. However, it's not completely opaque for me, so I did opt to go in for a third and final coat for today. Three coats is going to give you exactly what it looks like in the bottle on the nail. Super, super beautiful. Cannot recommend this polish enough. So here is a look at that completed mini. I had three coats before a glossy top coat, but it is still a little bit wet here, so keep in mind it is going to dry down a little bit duller. And then a quick view from a different angle in direct sunlight with a glossy top coat. This one is a winner. Next up is a beak on fleek, and this is a very vivid Big Bird yellow. It does have a touch of mustard in there. I'm a huge fan of yellow on the nails. This one I struggled with a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how it's swatched today for me on my natural nail. Yellows can be kind of notoriously hard to get completely opaque with a good formula. I love, love, love that this one dries down matte and very, like, gorgeously flat matte. I love that about that. However, I did struggle with the formula. You can see here, even with the second coat, it's going on a little bit streaky. Pretty okay coverage. I'm going to go ahead and let that dry down and then show you how it built up for me with a third and final coat today. I did go in for a little bit of a thicker third coat. I feel like this one really needs four and that's why I'm kind of adding this to my past pile. However, I did find that this is a perfect Pikachu yellow if that's something you're needing in your life. So here is a look at that completed mini at three coats before a glossy top coat. I kind of opted to swatch this one without the top coat because that matte finish is so pretty. So there is a look at my final image in direct sunlight. So next up is one that I was like pretty much just figuring that I would pass on. I'm not a huge fan of shimmers. So this one is uh, uh, amazing and it is inspired by the count. This one, the coverage is amazing. Okay, so it goes on almost completely opaque in just one easy coat. I think this would be a lovely polish for stamping with. You do have to be a little bit mindful of those brush strokes, but you can see as long as you do like your final swish right down the center of the nail, the brush strokes aren't very evident. And this purple is beautiful on the nail. So I am loving this one. Here is a look at that completed mini. I had two coats before a glossy top coat underneath artificial lighting. I think this one would be really pretty with a matte top coat as well. And here is a quick view from a different angle in direct sunlight with a glossy top coat. So super, super beautiful too. Rounding out the monster piece four piece collection. This is Grover It and this is a beautiful deep blue with scatter holographic glitter throughout. I'm going to go ahead and show you how it's swatched today for me on my natural nail. So there is a look at that first easy coat. This one feels pretty much like a jelly. It does go on nice and easy, really smooth. You get a, just a scattering of that holographic glitter in the first coat. So I'm going to go ahead and let this dry down and then show you how it built up for me with a quick second coat. So two coats it does deepen up that finish and adds more holographic glitter. I think this one is going to depend on how harsh your nail line is or how long your nails are. Here I can see still see a little bit of visible nail line. However, it's not as evident when you back up a little bit. So here is a look at that completed mani. Add just two coats before a glossy top coat underneath artificial lighting. This is one you're going to want to use a nice glossy top coat 
for as well. So there's a quick view from a different angle in direct sunlight, another beautiful winner. Next up is for real though, the four piece collection of the two. I think I'm in love with this one the most, which is so hard for me to say. So first up is living in the Elmo moment. So this is the polish that really kind of drew me to this collection. It's red. It's got scattered holographic glitters. It's a little bit of a jelly. It's everything that is amazing. So there in that first coat, you can see I get a good amount of coverage. However, it's not completely opaque, so I am going to build it up with a quick a second coat. This is one that's really going to balance on the edge of being a two or a three coater, depending on your personal preference. It also did have a little bit of grit when applying. Not terribly, but it, you will want a nice glossy top coat to help smooth that finish out. I did opt to go in for a third and a final coat for this polish, and I am living for the finish. I think this is going to be perfect for Christmas Manny. So here is a look at that completed Manny at three coats before a glossy top coat underneath artificial lighting. So you can see some of that texture peeking through a little bit there. And then really quickly from a different angle with a glossy top coat in direct sunlight. So that is my final swatch photo. Next up is a super bright neon, which I was really needing. Like we're having a cold front blow through and I needed this in my life. So this is for real though. This is the namesake of the collection. It is every bit as neon as it's showing up in camera here. So this is like a neon fuchsia toned, a little bit of a darker pink, super, super pretty. It doesn't dry down full on matte like the Beacon Fleek. However, it does dry down just a touch dull. So you will again, want to go in with your favorite glossy top coat, two to three coats, depending on your personal preference for full opacity. The formula is great. It's not streaky at all. I just have very strong visible nail lines. So it takes a, a hot minute to cover them up, but three coats a day get me completely there and it's just beautiful so here is a look at that completed mani at three coats it is still a little bit wet here so it's looking super super glossy underneath my artificial lighting and then really quickly from a different angle in direct sunlight this is completely color accurate here so that is my final swatch photo. Next up, we're going with a free to be sesame. And this is a beautiful green with a scattered holographic as well as, well, is it holographic or is it just blue and green glitters? I think it's just blue and green micro glitters. So there is a look at that first easy coat. This isn't a jelly base. It reminds me kind of of sparkling garbage from Orly. I think it's a perfect holiday green. It's going to be so good for nail art. And mine has a little Oscar the Grouch on the which Oscar was my favorite Sesame Street resident. So at two coats, it does deepen up that finish. However, I do prefer to go in for a third and a final coat. It just deepens up the color a little bit and adds the most glitter you can get on the nail. It looks exactly like it does in the bottle. Super sparkly. Again, I do recommend going in with a coat of your favorite glossy top coat. It does dry down a little bit dull as you can see here. So there is a look at that complete in many at three coats underneath artificial. And then once more with a glossy top coat in direct sunlight. So another gorgeous micro glitter polish. We're going to round out the swatch video today with that color dough. And this is a blue micro glitter in a clear base inspired by the cookie monster. Because this one is in a clear base, it's going to take a little bit more to be completely opaque. I'm going to go ahead and show you how it's swatched today for me on my natural nail. So there's a look at that first easy coat. You can see it's pretty well just like a smashing of a blue glitter on the nail. If you wanted to use this one as a topper, I think you probably could get away with that. Two coats is going to add more glitter. It makes it a little bit deeper. However, it's not completely opaque. So I am going to go ahead and go in for a third and final coat for today. Three coats pretty much pushes this one to the edge of being completely opaque. If you wanted to sponge this one on, I think you would get the best color payoff. So here is a look at that completed mini at three coats before a glossy top coat underneath artificial lighting. This one is really going to live best in direct sunlight though. So here is a quick view of that with a glossy top coat in direct sunlight. So that does wrap up my swatch interview of what I have of the You Do You collection. I know I'm a little bit late on these, but I saw these in Walmart. And I put up a poll over on Instagram if you guys wanted to see these swatched or not. And China Glaze voted yes. So that's pretty much a, that's going to happen. So they do already have a new 50th anniversary uh, Sesame Street collection. So you can look into those if you're interested. I know they're, they're having um, some mini bar glitters, which I'm kind of interested in. So definitely check that out. I'll leave some links down below where you can shop if you'd like to see more. You can also follow me on Instagram at Sloppy Swatches. So thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time.